Right. Hey guys, Gage and Willie here again. We're in the Press Star Lounge hanging out with D1 and the phenomenal E. Guys, how's this going? I'm doing amazing. Just came off of the hype top eight for Smash 4 with my good friend. The phenomenal E. Guys, that top eight was something to behold. If you didn't see it live, get on those vibes right now. Don't wait for them to go on YouTube. That was an incredible top eight from top to bottom. It was very exciting. Uh, of course, we saw Zero take the whole thing. Esam coming second. And before we get started, I just want to say I'm super impressed with how Esam came out today and yesterday with the brawl. Just kind of, he's been on our show twice. No one's done that yet, so that's impressive to me. So what do you guys think about that? Yeah, man, Esam obviously has an amazing grasp of Smash Brothers. You see him get to the Grand Finals versus Music King in Brawl, and then to make it here in Smash 4 and almost even things grow to the loser's bracket in the winner's finals, that had all of us floored. Like, Iggy and myself were going crazy. I would have been Yeah, Esam is amazing. He's been an exceptional player in Melee, a top player in Brawl, and of course, transferring that all the way over to Smash 4. I honestly thought we were going to see a huge upset and he was going to take out Zero. Wasn't meant to be, but we still got a phenomenal showcase of two very talented players and characters. So, you know, it's, it's hard to say when Zero will lose, but it's easy to see that people are getting closer and closer to bridging that gap. And we just got done talking to Zero. When, when Esam took two of those games, I was asking him, is the, was the pressure wrong? Were you feeling that pressure while you were playing? It's I, hard not to. I certainly was. I can only imagine how Esam felt or Zero felt. You're in that position where you know like either you're either gonna, it's either going to make or break you. And it's really going to dictate how the rest of the tournament's going to go. But Zero just has an unbelievable gift for this game. His clutch factor is insane. And it, I, mean, I felt like he, mi he might have been rattled a little bit because he hadn't even lost a game. Right. You guys have been following the tournament, and he's playing out of his, I mean, he's just unstoppable. So. Hey, it can be, at any given time, it can be your day. He Sam almost had it. It, wasn't it, was, it was that close. Now, we, were, we questioned Esam about going Yoshi with that second game. Do you, you guys have a problem with that? Did you think maybe that could have changed I up felt like how that was he, uh, Zero played as Sheik? Now, I thought what Esam was doing was basically the uh, run back of what he did during the Brawl Grand Finals versus the King, where he busts out Bowser and Samus. And, you know, it kind of brought the hype to the crowd. But I'm not sure if it was appropriate, especially for Smash 4, where he puts in a lot of practice with Pikachu, showed a lot of promise, we're in his finals with Pikachu. Down to the wire, game five, last hit, yeah. and then out of nowhere, you just it's a, so another character, a character that one of his uh, one of Zero's roommates plays really well. Zero plays with one of the best Yoshi's in the U.S. who plays high at Apex 2015, Sky Williams, and yet he opts to go Yoshi against Zero, and Zero just demolished it. Yeah, what did you feel about that? Because he said himself said once he pressed the start button, he, he just realized that. Zero plays best against Yoshi is one of his better characters he plays against. He's like, oh, man. I mean, I, you know, that's typically something you see after the first two games. Like, if you've lost your Jermaine the first time, you're like, well, pack it up. I'm not taking this set. I'm damn sure not taking the next set. Let me go ahead and just throw somebody out. For him to do that um, in the second match, I was surprised, especially how close their winner's matches were. But you know what? It, it, he's there for a reason. If he's feeling like it's going to get the job done, I'm not going to argue with him. I didn't agree with the decision. But regardless, we've got a great grand finals. I know, I'm interested to hear if you guys have any bold predictions for Melee coming up tomorrow, where we got a huge day. And I, the crowds have been, brawl, the Brawl crowd is huge. The 64 crowd is bigger. The Smash 4 crowd, there wasn't any seating room. People were basically sitting on the stage it's watching this whole match. crazy tomorrow. What do you expect from Melee tomorrow? I know the hype's going to definitely be real for Melee, but my predictions are that we're going to see a, a serious grand finals. Is Armada here? If Armada I've seen Leffen. No. If Armada's not here, I'm, I'm not so sure if Armada was con was uh, confirmed, but I do know Leffen is here. So most likely we're going to see someone in the Grand Finals versus Leffen. I don't quite know who yet because sometimes I, I'm not, it, yeah, I, it's up for grabs. Look, I don't, I don't think Armada's here. I'm pretty sure he's not, yeah. or else we would have seen fans mulling him everywhere. You sure. know um, I, My prediction, it's either going to be Leffen or Mewtwo King takes this tournament. Mango's here uh, for commentary, but he's not in the bracket, exactly. uh, from what I remember. J Music King said, I need to win this tournament, not that I want to. I feel like when you're that desperate, you're that good, I think the King's coming back. I think Music King's taking it tomorrow. And if he can play in Melee like he was playing through Brawl, where he didn't drop right. a the whole right. time, then it's going to be incredible. Uh, the music just kicked on, big time. <laughs> so before we get out of here, do you guys want to make any plugs? Say that again? Do you want to make any plugs before we get out of here? Talk to you. All right, we got to go. If you can all hear right. me, thanks for joining us on Press Start TV. Stick, stick here for all Smash Con news. Thanks, guys. I guess that was our interview.